All right, we finished the first nine and we're at minus 12. So kind of the goal would be to get a minus 12 is kind of like just your set. And you want, there's four holes that you could really kind of make up a shot. So, you know, if you can get a quarter of those holes and get one on every side, you know, right now we should be sitting at minus 13 is where we really want to be as at a minimum. You know, we really want to try and get lucky and get like minus 14 on a side. So we did pick up one of those shots, but we had to use it to save us from doing a screw up on a shot that we should have got that we were going for albatross. And it's an easy eagle and we ended up getting a birdie. That's that's pitiful. So you, you can't afford to, to drop shots like that. All right, so we're on hole number 10. What do we got? Hole number 10, we're back at the beginning. And we're using, on this hole, we're using a quarterback, a sniper, and a kingmaker. And those should be the only clubs that we need on this. We're going to need a quarterback, a sniper. Saturn's fine, Hornet's fine, the rest of those clubs are fine. And we're going to need a kingmaker. And those should be the only clubs we need for this hole. And we're going to clear out this spot here. It saves us one gem. I'm going to open that one. Hole number 10. QB, Kingmaker, go for the Albatross. Sniper, 1.3 per ring. One top spin. So on our approach shot, for our Albatross shot, 1.3 per ring, one top spin. So we just need to lay this shot up out there and give us that albatross shot. We don't have to do anything special. And we brought the right clubs for it. Our opponent did not bring the right club for this hole unless he wants to get way up into that slot. If you get way up here, then you got you have a shot. But if you don't get way up there, you're in trouble. And if you watch how some of the other people are playing this hole, like Zachary and Tommy, they're, they're playing it over here. But they're playing it over here because when you play Masters and Expert and you're at the farther back tees and you have massive wind, that side over there is facing your direction. You can pick that up. You can, you can get it going. But you can't get it going over here. It's harder. If you could get over here, it would be a better, you'd be at a better spot. You know, that'd be the, the thing. So quarterback's one per ring. So there's three, seven. We gave ourselves a two ring leeway. We're gonna give it maximum curl. Try and hit perfect. If you're hitting a shot like this where you're pinched up on the right hand side and you give it maximum curl, if you hit it great, Heck, if even if you hit it good over on the left, you're still going to be okay. Because when it hits, it has so much curl and so much side spin on the ball, it'll still throw it in that direction. And if you hit it great on the inside, on the right-hand side, you're still good because you left yourself two ball widths. The whole thing is, is just to get out there with three top spin and lay it up out there so you have a great second shot. Your second shot, you got two different ways that you can play it. You may not have the clubs to, or you may not like the feel of the bump and run up at the top. You like to bounce stuff over and you have a better feel for that. You have two different ways that you can approach it over there. But when you're over here, you're, you're limited to one way. And if you don't hit perfect, you can't make that way. So we're going to play all the way up and we're right at the max of our club. That's where we normally are. And we're going to play this with one top spin. No left or right side spin. We're going to aim right at the hole. And we're going to play that as a 1-3. So that would be 2-6. So it would be 2 and a little. We're going to play this as a 1-3 per ring instead of a 1. I'm getting a little lag. Oh, yeah, great. It's a little laggy. And my timing's off just a titch. 
That was a little far. The last time we hit that same exact shot, we were far like that. That one top spin rolled it out. So in that situation, we should have used just one per ring instead of the one three. I was also down a little. <clears throat> I had the arrow, I had the ball guide pointing past the ball quite a ways. And in the past, I'm usually really close to it. I don't want it to roll past much. I don't want it, I want to see where it's at when it's right on it. So, and I think thinking back, that's how I did it on the last time I played that hole. So I still think the one three wind ring adjustment is correct, but you have to set it up right. And you can't land on that, on the fairway section that's around there. You gotta start on the rough and do a rough bump. That's why they call them rough bumps. Oh, I might have missed that one. I did miss it. Whew. Oh, I hate putts. <laughs> I like long putts. All right. We are on.